Okay, look, I'll be box. Come on. Go ahead. Hey. 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 Wicked, 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 wicked. Go ahead, Cam. Uh, I'm pretty silent. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Hold up. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Uh. Wicked, 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 uh. wicked, wicked. Stay of TV, episode 50. Yeah. I believe we got sticks in Kelsey. Hey. And we about to go ham. I already know a young nigga man is Cam. Yeah. Don't give a damn. Let's believe I'm the fucking best. Yeah. And I don't even give a damn. Take the fucking sex. Yeah. I already know I'm the motherfucking president. Yeah. About to bust another flow. Go and take the residence. Hey. Hey, about to bust another flow. Uh. Boys, young sticks. I ain't never been a hoe. Nah. Letting boys know. In a fold though, yeah. might ride the coupe. I don't even fucking know. Yeah. Man, I'm coming down and I'm motherfucking swinging. I don't give a damn. You talking hands, we can swing them. Yeah. I don't give a damn. Let's go, let's go, let's go, okay. let's go, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the cab over there. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, that bitch like this. It's <laughs> a good flow, it's a good flow. That is funny. Let's get it. Um, Yo, okay, we back. We recording? Yeah, we've been live. Oh, all right, yeah. we back. Stay Up TV, episode yeah. 50. A round of applause for episode 50. Oh. You know what I'm saying? You didn't have to. All right. <laughs> All right. Enough of that. Um, yes, yeah, episode 50, man. It's been a long year. And it's a been a long. It's been all, over a year. Over a year and a half Girl? now, maybe. Yeah. We I missed thought, a, We missed a lot of weeks. I thought y'all just got started with this shit. Y'all have done a lot of you know, episodes, 50 though. 50 fucking episodes. Yeah. And shit. We just keep. We just gonna keep going, bro. We're gonna get to the next fifty. We're gonna see how the next fifty go. Yeah, Yay. I'm excited about the next fifty. You know what I'm saying? The last fifty. The hundred. What Tom Brady say? What's his favorite ring? The this next one. The next one. Oh. Let's get it. <laughs> 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 what did Cap say? I said this one. <laughs> this one. <laughs> nah, his one. favorite ring is the next one. So we're gonna see what we can do next. Yeah. Um, we got a very special guest doubling back on us for the second time. Uh, young Kelsey Kalor. I got the merch on, as you can see. Ooh. Check the merch out. Went and cop this the other day. It was a couple thousand. Um, this is exclusive though. Y'all can't get this one. They make these in black though, but you can't get the white one. Um, right. That's true. Mm -hmm. True. Okay. I got the beanie too to match, bro. You can get the. You can get all. What else you got? What all the merch you got? I got the sweatshirts, Boca. the beanies, Boca. the t-shirts, and more. The draws too. Oh, and the thong. Ladies get G the string. Draws. I thought it was a mask, personally. <laughs> he said, Kelsey, you're going to need a bigger mask than that. that. My face. I was I like, I put, I put on my face. I'm like, yo, this is little. It's like a little triangle. <laughs> I'm like, I can still get it. coronavirus through this. <laughs> I'm going to find out it's a thong. Oh, man. I didn't know. They're um, cute. And they're comfortable. Thongs are not comfortable. they not? They're not comfortable. But, yours but is comfortable. G strings, yes. None Mine of that are shit comfortable. seems comfortable. Yeah, I didn't, it seems I like it's just draws riding up in y'all ass. It yeah, is. What, say, what makes a thong not comfortable? Because I don't know. I think it's the way that they're shaped. But like, they're some thongs are just like uncomfortable. It literally feels like hard you got a fabric, wedgie? hard fabric in your shit. <laughs> and oh, I just so mean, it's really just the material you use. I think so. Mm. Do like, they make like dry fit thongs. Like dry fit. fit. What the? <laughs> f you dry, know what dry fit, fit is. is? I don't think I do. Like, Drop it like under spandex? Arms, like, yeah, like yeah, spandex. spandex, like uh, like yoga pants. Beep. Oh. Mm, well, you so go. you you changed the game with the with the with the span with the drop it. Under Armour thongs, essentially. We got well, Under Armour thongs, yeah. nigga. So you can <coughs> look, ladies, I know y'all be sweating and shit down there. <laughs> Stay dry all day with oh, these thongs, bro. These oh, hoes, I'm telling you, they absorb sweat like I'm telling you, like black people <coughs> absorb the sun. I'm telling you, let me tell you this. Um, what else you got? You said and more. I just have more coming. Oh, on the way. You got hoodies coming on the way. You, I, I gotta oh, let y'all know. Oh, you can't, you can't, you can't expose it yet. You got, mm -mm. A, you got a big, what's the word? Maybe um, announcement coming. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know if you have a big announcement. coming. I don't so. know. Hmm. I said it's, it's just and it's more. Just, you just living right and now. And more. You, who knows what's coming? Okay. And more. All right. Stay tuned. Can you give us an exclusive about? <laughs> <laughs> Like a oh hint, like goodness. what's happening? <laughs> nah, I'm playing. Um, so you heard it here first. 
she don't know what's coming next. So that could be anything. It could be hoodies, could be socks, it could be, you know what I'm saying, draws for di- for niggas. <laughs> like oh, I don't know breeze. if you know, Kelsey, but your headphone is not I know, on. I like to hear one ear and Okay, uh, okay. Do I need it on the other? No, no, no. I just didn't know. Oh. If you did. No, nah, I like it like weird? this. Like this. Oh. I'm sure I'm sure you knew that. I did. Yeah. I'll, I'll put it like that. Yeah, I figured you did. That'd be weird to not have known. <laughs> <laughs> Your whole shit just. <laughs> like, nah, Kelsey, last episode we was on here, um, my hair was fucked up, bro. I had, like, hair coming all out the headphones, like, in different ways. Nobody said shit for the first, like, 35 minutes of the podcast. I thought you knew it was like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want it like that. Oh, Do I didn't know. Right now? <laughs> it yeah, looks, sh- it looks no, cool no, to me. No, last time it was like literally like, I don't even want to do it right now, but it was like some of it was sticking yeah. up forward, bro. And I, it was, I, I, my damn. Was, and I look we stupid didn't. as hell the first 30 minutes uh, of the pod, bro. We didn't bro. check. He had an we need a mirror. We need a big ass fucking mirror right there. Or y'all do. Or, or a camera. I'd be able to like see how we look. On yeah. The, like, like it might get weird because you know what I'm saying? Nigga don't want to look at look at yourself. Or you might just get caught looking at yourself the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you will. Yes, like, he will. No, I won't. Yep, <laughs> me. Looking ass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so look. Um. All right, let's get into it, bro. Uh, Chad Wheeler, bro, is a nasty man. Cam, I'm gonna let you take it away. You know, you are NFL insider. <laughs> Go yeah. ahead, go ahead, lace uh, us up on the situation, bro. Shit, Chad Wheeler, he played what left tackle for the Seahawks. I don't know. Offensive, Offensive tackle, lineman. Offensive tackle. So, so beat up his girlfriend real, real bad. Kelsey, I'm actually interested to hear what you had to say because you said you had a. Uh, Kelsey uh, say she's for domestic violence. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She was like, shit. I she mean, she said, what does she do to deserve that shit? <laughs> No, I'm playing. I'm, it's not even up. time to joke. Shut the hell up. She didn't say no. that. She didn't say that. Uh, but I didn't know that he fucked the girl up, like, and, like, really meant that shit. Like, yeah, so I didn't know The story know is really crazy. Um, He apparently, I don't really know the story, actually. He, I just know he beat her and then well, went to get a smoothie while she was still laying there. And he thought she was dead, and she moved, yeah. and he was like, damn, you're not even dead. Yeah. And then... That's she what, called that's the what cops or something like that. Is there like video that's when it's like evil. No, nah, I don't think it's no video. They just got a picture yet. of the girl, how bad her face looked. Like her nose was like it was probably broken or something. That's yeah. when it's pure evil. Like you. No, you and it was that. a it was a big, big part of this that nobody seemed to be talking about, which Kev, you know I noticed it off rip. He was white. He was white. <laughs> yeah. He was white and she sh- was black. Yeah. Oh, oh, and that's the, the first reason, thing I'm like, the reason, oh, the reason you the girl bitch said, ass nigga. The reason the girl said that that she that he beat her is because she wouldn't bow to him. That's what she said. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And did she mean literally? I didn't know what she meant by that. Bow I, to him, I, like figuratively. I guess I would have or to. Do assume, you want this? What? You want her to literally bow down like, right now? Like, 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 like touch your knees. Samurai men what kind of? <laughs> like bow down to me. He had to be like that with her for a long time. But Probably. this time he is not he's not a little nigga this time. It's oh, he's huge. Dude. So it's not the little nigga syndrome. Oh, yeah. Oh, that conversation. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you that had our mention statement. Niggas was mad at us. Nigga DM me, hey bitch ass nigga. Don't be saying nothing about little niggas no more. Oh <laughs> <I> was, <laughs> Hey, my bad. <laughs> I said my bad, little ass nigga. <laughs> Baby ass nigga. That's what she was talking about right there, though. That's what she was talking about right there. Yeah, that's what's wrong with niggas. <laughs> but yeah, he's a he, this is a big ass dude. He probably three hundred plus. Yeah. Six six plus. I mean, he's or something like that. Yeah, he's I'm just saying, like, why did sh- why mm Why I don't know. That whole situation is just I don't know. No. Why and how? And if you find out why a good would reason she stick for why with that, how, like, why would she stick with that and just how? Like, that's a bad situation. It's just evil. Yeah, that is evil, bro. It's evil. I don't know. Like, he said, "Damn, you still ain't dead." Yeah, that's what's that's what's what? crazy because he that means he was really trying to kill her, bro. Yeah, that's and what he was gonna kill her to go get a smoothie. Just that, that's what she said. She said he went went got a smoothie, came back. And he was like, damn, you still ain't dead? Yo, did he go get a smoothie from the kitchen, or did this nigga go to Smoothie King? <laughs> That's what I mean. I, I don't know. Did he, he go I make he, one and blend no, one I, up real quick, bro? I think the way she, the way she nigga missed, go went and threw some ingredients the in the blender? I think he went to the kitchen. He came from the kitchen. Actually, Yo, I think the way she said nigga. it, it was in a cup with a straws, but it's, it gave the impression that he actually left the house. He could have had straws. He rich. Yeah. Probably, yeah. So I got straws. And he's a football player. He's definitely making shape. Cam had straws. Yeah. 
Nigga said straw. <laughs> nigga said straw. It's not special. <laughs> said, I have straw. I drink out of straw every day. When I drink my milk tea. Of course he has straws. I drink my milk tea with boba. Fuck out of here, nigga. And my Starbucks water. Whatever. <laughs> with it's, it, Whatever. Has, it has mercury in there. But nah, no, it nigga. Um, oh, it doesn't have mercury in there. That shit, that, that shit is cold blooded, though. So. What do you think is going to happen with this whole situation? You think they're just going to brush it under the rug? They're going to do it like Ben Rossenberger? Or are they going to. Nah, hell no. He's out. He might never come back to the league. It depends, bro. Because nah, I don't think. The don't precedent think he'll come is back that some league. of these niggas come back, except Ray Rice. Kareem Hunt came back. Tyreek Hill came back. Adrian Peterson came back. Well, them niggas, they was whooping their kids. Tyreek Hill, Tyree Hill and Adrian Peterson. Peterson but is that worse? Kids. I mean, I feel like they was just well. Adrian Peterson whooped this kid with a switch, so that's not even. Tyreek Hill broke his son's arm. Well, yeah, that's 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 pretty bad. That's I don't. Know, but he turned himself in off a whooping. Jesus, I don't know what he did. Oh. Evil is whooped evil. His ass. But they let them back in the league. Kareem Hunt kicked that girl in the field goal, kicked her shit in the mouth. I think it comes down to the level of importance. Mm-hmm. Because those players are more important to so their production team. and tolerance is what you're saying. Yeah, in the, in the NFL, produce, in the NFL, tolerant with you. In the NFL, yeah, like it's fucked up, but that's, that's how I go in the NFL. Ooh, you got something to say? <laughs> I, I'm just stuck on field kick, like field, field kick. Oh, yeah. yeah, so field imagine kick, you laying down you in like, the mouth. You said? Yeah, imagine you laying down, and I'm talking about. I just run. I come. I get a good four, five step, and really just yeah, run, kick your step, shit. Hop step into your shit. I'm talking about front of the toe, your <laughs> shit. I'm talking about forearm, point the toe, like, step. <laughs> big yo shit, hard as shit. That's what Try he did. Why the fuck would you, and he did that to his, his nah, wife? No, it wasn't his girl. It was, I don't think it was Kareem Hunt girl. It was some girl he was throwing out of a hotel. Yeah. He In the video, he pushing her out the hotel. She trying to get back in. He pushed her on the floor, and she do, I don't even know what she did, bro, but all I know is he came with a huh. And that nigga played for the Browns right today. now, and he went off the other week. It was just a random the, girl? In the playoffs. I think it was just a random It wasn't his girlfriend, right? I don't, I don't, I don't know who the girl Ray was. Ray Rice was his girlfriend at yeah, the time. He but beat his, he beat his, that was his wife, and he beat her up in the elevator. No, 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 no. It wasn't his wife when it happened. It was his fiance when it happened. Oh, yeah. After he beat her ass, they got married, and then after they got married, the NFL found out, and then they kicked him out the league. Ain't that some crazy shit? <laughs> <laughs> like, he, he beat her ass. He, look, look, he beat her ass, words. and then the, he, the NFL found out. He told the NFL, if I'm not mistaken, right, that, I mean, yo, I beat her ass. They was like, okay, whatever, whatever. They get married. Time goes on. Then the video comes out, yeah. and then they was like, oh, hell no. We didn't know you beat her ass that video. bad. Yeah. Because the, you get in trouble yeah. when it's a He video. hit her yeah. ass hard, nah, bro. he was whooping her. And then, and then, and then, yeah, yo, he was, yeah, he he was, was punching her like a And this is Ray man. Rice. Ray Rice built like a, a he's a running back, fucking bro. bowling ball. He, yeah, so. he, about, <laughs> he about this tall. About 5'8", 230. Might, yeah, he might have a little nigger syndrome. But he about this tall, built like a meatball. Meatball with feet. Yeah. You know what Big I mean? Ass nigga. You're talking about a meatball with feet and muscles. <laughs> punching <laughs> you in the head, bro. So yeah, I think I think it probably end up it That's just comes scary. down to in, the level of importance and like Ray Rice was what important. What you mean by level of importance? To the to to a certain how good he is to the to the league or Oh you know what I'm okay. saying? Because look That's at fucked like, up. And that another reason that's, that's so what people were talking about why they why they was publicizing Michael Vick's situation more than this. And I was like, Well part of it is because it's Michael Vick. But it shouldn't matter. You know it shouldn't matter. Matter. Yeah, should should matter. Should matter. matter. It shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter. Both these niggas are in the same league, in the yeah. same profession. And that's true. And one of them got plastered and their life ruined, plastered yeah. all over mainstream media for days and years even. People still say that about Mike Vick. And yeah. if you walk past Chad that's Wheeler tomorrow, you won't shame. even recognize him because they didn't even show this man's yeah. face. They talked about it. Skip and Shannon had a segment on it for 10 minutes, and then they swept it under the rug. And then Shannon on Twitter arguing with niggas. Because everybody was like, why y'all only talk about it for 10 minutes? Shannon, like, why don't you talk about it? I'm like, see, niggas ain't even Damn. trying to talk about it no so more, So they bro. trip over a, over some animal, like some pets, yeah. oh, hell then yeah. actual humans. That shit is crazy. We didn't do that, especially that's, white But folks. that's how, as I said, that's how the that's league is. That's just evil. Like, if, the, if, you, if you fuck up in the league and you cold, the league going to do whatever they can to make sure you stay in that mode. Look at Josh Gordon. <laughs> like, yeah. They think it re- religiously gets kicked out the NFL, and maybe everybody mm. can come back. Whatever makes the money. But niggas in the, <laughs> niggas in the nineties was doing crack, was doing coke, like in the, on, on in football, like Michael the, Irvin. The niggas, time. niggas was doing coke, smoking cigarettes in the Shit, locker room. Yeah, don't give a fuck. Hey, y'all niggas, win the Super Bowls. Come on with it. Like, do you know the young goes. lady's name? Can we get the young lady's name? Who <laughs> is the victim here? I don't know her name. Who? Maybe I can find it here. Give me a second. <laughs> mm-hmm. old cell phone. Cam, go ahead. Take it away. Talk right quick, real quick. Um. But, I mean, damn. <laughs> level of importance, got it. Level of importance in the NFL. That's how they. That's how they do it's it. It's all about the money. It's all about the money. 
That's why Big Ben's still playing. They said he raped somebody. Yeah, that's scary, bro. That yeah. is scary. Rape is nothing to play with. Still, still oh, hold on, hold on. In a series of tweets Wednesday, Wheeler wrote that events happened over the weekend that transpired from a manic episode. I am deeply sorry for the pain and suffering that I have caused to the woman and her family. I apologize profusely for the turmoil that I have caused to my family, teammates, fans, and closest to me. The most important thing right now is that the woman, they didn't, they're not saying her name in this. He didn't write that shit. It I know he didn't. Gets the care she needs Wait, and I even, get help. Both are happening. It. Hey, I'm tired of I'm tired of white men going fucking crazy and everybody screaming mental help and oh uh, he had an episode and all that that's shit. That's not even just them. That's everybody these days. But nah, when yeah, it be sixteen year old niggas, they be sending sixteen year old niggas to jail for the rest of their life and they and I never hear nothing yeah. about he had an episode and shit like that for yeah, selling you, you just coke. Animal. You just an animal, bro. And they <laughs> they lock your ass up for your whole life. But then this grown ass man do this and they'll be like, oh he well he doesn't even need the, to go to jail. He needs to get help. <laughs> even the even the sixteen year old white kids Fuck that here, bro. shoot up churches and shoot up schools and shit. They just be like, oh, they bought dinner roof some food. Yeah. Talking about, <laughs> they talking about. Well, if we wouldn't have bought him no food, we could have blown the case. How the fuck can you blow this case, bro? He did it. He d- guilty as fuck. Like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Gun in hand. Talking bro. about if we would have starved him. I'm like, yo, st- just shut up. That was a, that was a nigga. He'd be dead like to see, bro. Shut up. I went to jail. They ain't give me. They ain't stop it. They ain't ask me if I was hungry. And I was hungry. Oh, you gonna be hungry? I was hungry. I'm like, yo, I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> hungry, what you gonna they be? They asked me if I was hungry on the way there. Like, yo, you want some, some fries or something? Gonna go Burger King. Nah, you hungry in that bitch? She show. First of all, how you eat in the back of the police van? You he not handcuffed? They got pictures of this nigga with Burger King. You not handcuffed? <laughs> you just back there, just relaxing, just having this, eating and shit, chilling. Bro. Did he get the death penalty? I think he got like a million life sentences. That ain't good enough. Kill his ass. <laughs> kill I him mean. at the end of it. <laughs> I say you let him serve about 30 years, then kill Suffer. his ass. That's what yeah. they do anyways, though. Yeah. Like, do his ass really dirty. somebody I know that's on death row. They've been on death row since 2006, <laughs> and he's still alive right now. That's how they do you. They're going to make like, you wait it out. No but you get a- I heard that a lot of people, when they're, when they're on death row, some of them just ask to, like, get them to the death row right. day already. Because mm. you, when you're on death that's row, you're solitary the whole time. Like you yeah, ain't you literally in just suffering. <laughs> yeah, you 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 just like you in a you solitary the whole time by yourself. They, like they give you books and shit. And they like and they like death penalty because they get like like better treatment yeah. than the rest of the jail people. Oh yeah, because they get better. And food they get that last shit. meal and shit. Well, not in Texas, not no more. They don't get a last meal. No, not in Texas. I didn't even know they kill niggas in Texas still. Oh, they do yeah, it they, more than this anybody. This is like one of the states. Yeah, that they does do. They do it. Texas do it more than anybody. That's so traumatizing. <laughs> Imagine That's getting so killed f- by like the government. Like this is the <laughs> fucking witch, the Salem witch trials or something. Like fuck y'all. How y'all gonna kill me to prove a point, bro? That's fucked up. This is not Game of Thrones, bro. <laughs> but what I mean, the hell uh, is going on? Yeah, that's they, some crazy they shit. They take you down to Huntsville and that's it. Take you down there. <laughs> Imagine that it. last drive. Man, I can't imagine. <laughs> this is really beautiful. I can't imagine. Yeah, I was say, there's really not <laughs> shit going towards Huntsville. Oh, like, my damn. God. Like, that shit fucked up. No. I saw no. this one video. This girl, like, when I when I, when I, I decided to kill myself, I wanted to jump off the, the, side, the front of my building because there's more trees in there. And I wanted to see. I wanted, like, a good view as my last view. And on the other side, it's just street and concrete. I'm like... Who the fuck cares that if you on your way out like that? That like, was a dark cloud in my mind. Like, I don't like that shit. Yeah, that's what? scary. <laughs> I thought, well, I'm trying to see what you finna take it. Like, you Oh, no, about I wasn't about to roof? go too deep. No, it's just that, like, I know somebody who talks about death a lot, but she talks about it in a way where she'll sound like she's joking about it. But at the same time, her jokes aren't funny. <laughs> like <laughs> that makes it even worse. <laughs> that's usually yes. oh, that's God. usually how it goes. And, it's like, like, hey, that, hey, and I just feel like, just, like that shit wasn't funny, bro. Nope, just shut up at this point. Like Is she it's depressed? Not, a lot of people be be depressed and they be hiding yeah, their yeah, place. I don't know. She talks. She she's really talkative and she's really friendly. But like, Them be the she, main ones. Yeah, yeah, but um, she she also pulled off a um an attempt. Mm. Apparently, yeah, and her mom cussed me out and cussed what the for the you curse you out for cuss for the first oh time. She, first of all, me and her daughter had been talking. We've been, you know, I've stay I uh, visited them for a month, but um, anyways, her mom just tried to make me look like I was evil in front of her daughters. Like she tries, yeah. she tried to like you was the problem. Yeah, the problem of 
basically, I told I <laughs> something. I asked her like. Well, I even um, dropped the name. You was you was holding it down. We can, <laughs> and we can edit. You we gonna have to cut that. Yeah, shit we can out. edit it out. We can edit it out. Don't Anyways, worry about it. Anyways, um, I never do. Yeah, yeah but can't she, be home. You gotta remind them. <laughs> Put an okay, X on there or something. Yeah, okay. Okay, but she. Okay, so she. Her mom <laughs> told me about how she found in her mail that that she went to um she went to rehab, mm-hmm. and I'm like, uh, have you ever asked your daughter about that? And then she was like, I'm not. Gonna her mom ask just her. talking to you about this. Talking to me, straight up talking to me, like. She needs somebody just to uh, listen to her problems. To vent to. Yeah, and I'm thinking maybe she wants some help, but I'm letting her know about her daughter, what she's feeling, and she's like, nope, nope, I'm just going to let her figure it out. So I was like, okay. She told me not to tell her daughter about it, and then I was like, mm, fuck that because, like, I have a relationship with that girl, and that's surprising to me. Like, I didn't know that she needed to put herself in rehab, like, Mm-hmm. Bitch, what you got going on? Mm-hmm. So I, I went up. I asked her daughter the next day, and you probably said it blunt as hell too. Like, yo, why the fuck was you in rehab? <laughs> no, I didn't. I told her about like how her mom is explaining that she thinks that she or she says that you went to rehab, and then her daughter was like, "Are you fucking serious? I didn't go to rehab. I went to a psychiatrist." So I'm just mm-hmm. like, okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so she was just getting mad the fact that her mom's never asked her about anything. But she's talking to her friends about it. But she's talking to me about it and Yeah, that's weak. Yeah, and that's how she feels. So the next day they got in an argument. I wasn't at the house, I was at the grocery store with my dad. And I came to the house and apparently she attempts suicide. Oh man. Honestly, it might be an act. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> I tried not to but laugh. Too. I looked you straight in the face just now, and I wasn't gonna laugh. I'm gonna be honest, like. But I you don't looked at Cam, and he laughed. Okay, go ahead, <laughs> keep going, keep going. Yeah, but I don't know. It might have been an act, but I mean, because she told me that day. She told me that day earlier when I, after I told her about what happened, she said, "Usually, when me and my mom get in a in an argument or a fight, I have to go all out with a bang." Mm. And so then, she can prove a point. Yeah. And I was like, how do you go out with a bang? And then she's like, usually I just like stump out of the house and leave and go back to my apartment oh, in Austin. Yeah. So I'm just like, you got to do all of that? And she's just like, yeah, like I'm just sick of it. Like I'll just leave. But this time she did the whole suicidal attempt. And she did that by what? Taking pills? Trying to jump off of something? Yeah, she got she got prescribed some uh, pills from her psychiatrist. Mm, took a lot of them. Yeah. At the same time, I heard that her um, her and her roommates talk about death together a lot. Like, they think that shit is funny. Oh, man. Yeah, you probably shouldn't hang out with these people. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's well, a, that's that's a weird Well, um, that's a family member. Oh. But it's not blood related. Hmm. But I understand. I still would not hang out with these people. <laughs> it's just a vibe. Like they just, yeah, that don't sound like a good vibe, bro. That sounds like a scary. Yeah, like we went out to a park um, like a few weekends ago, and we were out as like a family, like just yeah. siblings all together. That's it. And we went to a farmers market. It was a beautiful day. We were walking by the river in San Antonio, and um, there were families outside and shit. And then we. She just kept on talking about dead shit. Like, what does it look like if I were to jump over that bridge or if one of us were able to jump over that bridge and just land some type of way? And it's just like, that's not even funny. That's weird, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. you put a downer and shit. Like, you had, like you said, it's a beautiful day outside and you want to talk about whatever, like, yeah. jump over the bridge. <laughs> yeah, that's scary, bro. Like, I'm trying to take this shit in. Well, she might be really <laughs> suicidal. Yeah, she might be crying, like, low-key. I got to understand. Crying out for help or some shit. I got to understand. What do you want? But, I mean, if if you tried to help and then she got mad, then is she really crying out for help? That's true. Like, some people just want the attention, I guess. I think some people don't know if they need help. Mm. There are some people that just feel like they can just be stuck in this mode. Yeah. Some people feel like they can just be stuck in this mode and there's nothing else that's just, like, better. Like, they don't. Mm. Like, they think that it's just normal how they feel. Like, everybody probably feel like that. Like, they don't think that help is possible. 
Yeah, but some people, like I'm saying, some people, they don't believe that they need help. They just, like, they just take in those bad feelings that's yeah. in the moment. Yeah. They just go in the moment, and they don't think, like. I know what you mean. Like, they just take it for what it is. Yeah. And then, like, hey, it'll get better. Yeah. yeah I think that's me, bro. Yeah. I was <laughs> you People need to reevaluate <laughs> I themselves. Don't, um, I definitely don't. I definitely like just I definitely take a lot of shit on the chin and just keep it pushing. That's just how like Suppressed. I think that's how we was raised like yeah. just to just like keep it keep it pushing, hey, bro. And then yeah. what happens a lot is I, some random shit will happen like I'll fucking lose my car keys and I will go fucking crazy, bro, cuz I've be, been so pissed off the last 3 months anyway yeah. and I just need, really needed a be, chance it, to it let it be, out yeah, it and now be, yeah. I'm now I'm breaking shit and punching shit over some stupid shit. And that's how it goes. Yeah. Like for real. Yeah, you know. need yeah, but but help. I really don't know. <laughs> you said I need help, but what, what, what? I don't believe help exists, bro. What the fuck am I? What because, I'm supposed to tell somebody so here, what's my problem? Thing. If you don't have help, think about just reevaluating yourself pretty often, as often as you can, but not too much. Like, where do you need to fix yourself on? Where do you need? What is good about you? You have to weigh that shit. Yeah. Whatever, it, whatever flaw that you have, and you recognize it, do something to change that. Mm. Are you a Libra? Yes. Hmm, I could tell. <laughs> you know, I know astrology. You know, Shut right. the fuck. We I, was born on Mar- I was born on Mercury, Cam- 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 Cameron. Don't don't, Cameron. She finna hate. She finna hate. Cameron, I told him that I was a Libra today. <laughs> <laughs> she lying. <laughs> Look at niggas. Look at niggas. Look. I was Are you going with it, and then I was like, hold on. <laughs> she lying, Cam. I knew that. She didn't tell me. I guessed. I don't even need to explain that. But my <laughs> astrologist, I could tell by the way. I that could you tell know. that your... Your Saturn and your Saturn and Moon stars are aligned in such a way. I can tell. <laughs> I knew you was a Libra. Niggas, boy, I tell you what, boy. yes, Cam, I knew, <laughs> I knew, Cam. There's um, nothing I can say. I knew, bro. I can There's tell by the moon. I can, oh my goodness. Said, by the way, this one, Libra. Look, so look, so we talking outside. She like, yeah, I'm a. Li- I forgot what we said. She like, it's Mercury in the water. I said I was born on Mercury, and she like, no, you a Pisces. You was born in between Jupiter and. In Venus or some shit. I'm like, Jupiter what the fuck Neptune. that even mean? Oh yeah, because those planets rule Pisces. Jupiter? How Jupiter rule? I know Neptune is water, so Pisces. I, I, get thought, that. I thought Jupiter was, was Neptune is the King is of the planet water. of de, um, of illusions and or either deceptions. Mm, okay. And then Jupiter is about the planet of principles of your belief. And what does that have to do with Pisces? Um, Pisces, they're, y'all are very, uh, intuitive and internal. So a lot of things are constructed off of like how y'all believe things and ha- what y'all can feel. Y'all are, y'all are more spiritual. That's just saying, I don't disagree, but I would say this, that seems so vague, bro. That seemed like everybody can say that about themselves. Like, is it just no, Pisces? No, it's not. I'm not talking about anybody specifically. I'm talking about the, the... Basically, the element or the description that these planets play a role yeah. in. Okay, explain to me w- how people was like, yo, okay, what does March have to do with Pisces and the moon and all that shit? I don't even understand it. Break it down. March has to do with mainly March. I mean, Just mainly months, Pisces. Period. Um, No, it's not months, period. Okay, so how do I break this down? So there's 12 months. Okay. In a year, I knew that he there's didn't. twelve zodiac signs. I knew that in he a didn't. year, we the sun goes in different um <laughs> the uh, sun, circles. circles. I know. I just felt like I had to illustrate. All okay, this. I got you. Um, so <laughs> the so the sun rotates in each sign for about thirty days. The moon or the sun? The sun. Okay. So, um, March is really the... I'm already confused. I'm sorry. The sun rotates now? Okay, so February is... Whew, I don't even... Look, Pisces season okay. is <laughs> around the end of February okay. and the beginning of March. Okay, I'm with you. In tropical astrology. Tropical astrology. So, what I'm trying to say is... How, how did the whole, yeah? How did Neptune how did the, and all that shit become well, part of what, like? What, what Sticks is asking is how he's like. How did the the classifications come about? Yeah, I don't. Okay. I'm confused how it started and Over what did time, it mean really. So astrology is so old. It's mm-hmm. so old. Mm-hmm. It's like before religion even came about. 
So people, they, they've they taken notes of behaviors, characteristics, timings, and they, they've they read the stars. And usually the stars are supposed to indicate like. basically your future. I can tell my future off of reading a wheel that I do on my Tell phone. my future right now. I can't. Because I'd have to I'd have to break your chart down to see oh, God. what things <laughs> you need the to focus chart. on. Yeah, what th- you go through what cycles. chart? Uh, astrology chart? I seen it's like a circle. It look like that that pyramid. I'll be trying shit. to figure out why people hate on hate on my signs. So what like is your sign? Sagittarius. Oh, I, that y'all do get a lot of hate on Twitter. Yeah. I don't I didn't know that. Yeah. I see that a lot. Oh, I hate Sagittarius. When I think of Sagittarius, y'all. all I think of, when I think of signs, period, all I think of is the beginning of B, uh, that B2K song when all them niggas was coming in and it was like, I'm Lil Fizz, I'm a Sag. You don't remember that <laughs> shit? I'm like, these niggas, swear to God, niggas care that they are Sagittarius, bro. Is that a... I didn't... I don't that's how you promote yourself, care, bro? I, I was like, yo, that shit was crazy. I guess the... I, yeah, the girls care about that's that That's the only thing. time I heard niggas like say what they it's was. It's just kind of like you're studying yourself. You need to know thyself. Period. Okay, but my thing is this: Why don't it seem like other Pisces are like me? Why don't I see? A, why don't I see you nothing are in a common mixture of with different them? aspects? So your chart isn't exactly how their chart is. Y'all sun sign is just the same. The sun sign represents Pisces. How, y- how you are oh. in mm. the world. How 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 you go about how you are. Yeah, okay. got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's your sun sign. Then there's the moon sign. The moon. They sign, don't talk about that a lot. The moon sign. Dictates how you use your emotions. So what's internal? Now, your rising sign is... Oh, shit. Yeah, your rising sign <laughs> is like how you approach situations, how you come off to people, yeah. what people see you as, but who you are is Pisces, Libra. But my moon sign is Aries. Okay, you now. I'm sorry. So God, how you, how you find that confusing, bro? How you even know what you're talking about how right now? How you find out your moon sign? Yeah, how you wish, even know that you're right right now? I just wish that I could explain it because, like, you match to, everything to find with your the moon patterns. sign. You got to have your exact time and birth. Yeah, there's a thing called like a natal chart or something. I should have explained. You like that. plug it all in. I got my shit done too. What I had do a, you know? This nigga just know everything about astrology all of a sudden. Yeah, he yeah, he, he, he was in his bag the whole time. He he couldn't wait to get a word in. Actually, it's called a natal chart. You did come. Wait, so. I know. I, I, I needed you. <laughs> I, I, I know my time of my exact time of birth. Yeah. So then, like, there's like apps exact shit you can go or through. like mm, no, it's good the exact estimate. time. Exact, like down to the second type shit. Minute. Mm, okay. The minute. Mostly the minute, but <laughs> honestly, if you don't know the minute, it's okay. How the fuck are you supposed to know that? I, I was born at eight thirty. I was born at eight thirty p.m. It's on your birth certificate. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I've seen my birth certificate. I've you never saw a time. You can literally ask your mom. My mom knew. Yeah. <laughs> my mom gonna say like around midnight or something. That's how she gonna tell me. You can <laughs> you can determine like sometimes when you need to watch out for traumatic situations. That's the chart. This is the perfection. That's year your chart. chart? Yeah, I'm. I read what my year was gonna um, focus on. Uh, while I'm this age, 25. So in you the will, that, in the will, uh-huh. I'm understanding like what are gonna be some focuses in what themes are gonna be a part of my the life, this. my Remind year. That. Let's Remind say you a Libra, okay. right? It's Libra season. Do you get like superpowers or some shit? Well, like no, but you really feel confident. It's like in vibrational who you are. awareness and shit. Like things just attract to you more than it would be because like moon, like the moon will help. Um, like when they do like the solstices and stuff like that, the moon is in like its own. I don't know. It's a whole spiel of stuff, man. Y'all gotta get with the shit. Yeah, I, I just be wondering well, why saying. the fuck they hate my sign so much. I just can't. You it's, don't hate it's your just sign. Confusing. You're, not not me. Are. I'm talking about people. I, I don't care. I've about never this. heard anybody say anything so bad about Sagittarius. Wh- I like Sagittarius. What is a Sagittarius? A Sagittarius. Oof. Um, they're known to be adventurous, thinking optimistically. No, I mean like literally. What is that? Okay, so there. I know their symbol. You're like, what is it a? I it's know Pisces arrow. is a fish. The what arrow. is a Sagittarius? An arrow? Yeah. It's a um those uh, guys with the, the horse butt the t- and the, the and the bow and arrow. Oh, like BoJack Horseman. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Never heard of that. Never heard of Bo- BoJack Horseman? It's on Netflix. I heard it's pretty good. Never watched okay. it though. It's mid. Oh. I, it won like a, a Emmy or some shit, Kev. Am I lying? Mm. Oh, I psh, I don't watch it like that. I just know it's kind of like Arthur. 
You guys ever seen Arthur? Yeah. That weird ass show where his animation. knees is backwards? No. <laughs> what was that show, no, Kev? No, no, no. That, that you was, had me watch it. That was Archangel or something. Yo, that shit was Xavier crazy. Xavier the Archangel. No, the, uh, you ever seen that? No. Yo, I got to pull up this Xavier. That's, that's what it's called? Xavier the Archangel? Yeah, something like that. Kev got me watching this trippy ass shit at three in the fucking morning. <laughs> <laughs> he's had like a snake for his arm and shit. And his legs are backwards. And he just like talks about Indian shit. I don't know. He was a weirdo. Well, Yo, and man. he the <laughs> animation is fucking nuts. These niggas crazy. I can't I've been told that my son is bipolar. No, so uh, you going back to bipolar. your son though, I'm like not. do you see those things manifest in your life? Like the things yeah. they tell you? Yep. What I've read um I've read my <laughs> I've read my best friend's chart and I read her last <clears throat> age and it showed me like a traumatic Okay, that sounds crazy. But it showed me basically something that matched up to how her life was. So she lost her brother that year. And I was able to read that that's what happened in that year. Yeah. So um, it it was showing it was showing symbols like um, Mars. <laughs> that <laughs> Mars, that's the planet of change, chaos. Yeah. Um, of war, huh? Of war. Mm. So... It, sh- it already means, like, okay, chaos or something that's going to just simply change yeah. in a graceful way or chao- chaotic way. Hmm. But That's um, so vague, ain't it? Ain't it? Yeah. Don't chaotic shit happen to everybody every year? No. Not not chaotic to that point. No. But, like, let's say it said chaotic. <laughs> you, I'm sure you could go back and find something that was chaotic like throughout a year. Levels of chaotic. Like I said, Mars, it doesn't exactly mean um, it's chaotic all the time. Sometimes it just means that it changed. Mm, so some new happened. Some something new shit happened. Yeah, I made a, a crazy change. But what if something don't something new happen every year too? That's what I, my thing is this. I don't. I'm not saying no, you're wrong. That I'm just saying like ain't don't like your shit happen to everybody. He's, you're matching the subject up to like other things now. It's just simply the principle of Mars. So okay. the Mars and is Mars is it represents which sign? No, that represents male energy. Oh, so we all are, we all Mars. Y'all's physical is rep. It could be represented by Mars. I don't know, but no, mm-hmm. I don't. You, you threw Yo, me you off are with confusing that me, bro. <laughs> um, <laughs> you are fucking confusing. No, no, no. Male they're energy. Giving, giving them a it doesn't lot mean that you have. You're a human male. Yeah. Male energy. A woman could have male energy. Yeah, I've seen A that guy on the can have female energy. It's just what female energy does. Bitch ass niggas. No, oh. that's not what that means. <laughs> Actually, men that have feminine energy and know how to use it mm-hmm. correctly, mm-hmm. they're really smart. They, do they know the one, that they're, they're using the their female energy dis- or are they just being them and it just so happens to? And they're the ones who know that. how to make decisions. So me- female energy is about the energy of making decisions. Oh, I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Well, Jesse. I mean, you, you might you, you might you, personally make great decisions, you but I know some Pisces, women. I know some women who make terrible decisions, bro. I understand they might be consumed too much with male male energy. But listen, you're a oh. Pisces. You're a Pisces, and Pisces is a feminine sign. Oh, don't do me. So you saying I'm a <laughs> bitch ass <laughs> nigga? No, 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 no. Let just me listen, tell you. Just listen. Okay, you're okay, not, okay. He he called, you calling me a bitch ass nigga? Didn't Let's I just go. say that niggas with that know how to use their female energy, their feminine mm-hmm. powers, yeah. mm-hmm. are smart. Mm-hmm. They are the ones who know how to make decisions, who mm-hmm. know how to set something up. To they think of the overall picture. They know how to do that. Oh, that's, mind, me. that's definitely me. But why does it? But I just don't like the way you say female because energy. You gotta that just sound weird. To me. You have to understand that, that, that toxic masculinity you sticks. Have to, <laughs> literally, <laughs> am you, I toxic? That's a little toxic. Go ahead. I'm toxic because I don't like that I have female hold energy. Hold on, hold on. Let, let her toxic. finish. Let her finish. Damn. That is toxic. I might be toxic, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Let's work on it. I need some help. Fuck it. Okay, look. It's just balance. Like, like I said, life Libra. is a balance. Life is a balance. And you need to balance your male energy and your feminine energy. Sometimes you're born Or with get realigned, fem- do some chakra, some recce. Oh, what has the to say fuck? You are crazy out here. Look, this is <laughs> do you do card readings and tarot? All that no, shit? but I have this one friend. Her name is Chelsea. 
and she does card readings. Her name is Modern Day Goddess. She reads <laughs> the cards? Yeah. She reads by signs. You can do personal meetings with her, but for the most part, she has a YouTube video. Can and you get her on the phone? Mm. Can she read my sign right now? Yeah, right now? <laughs> I need to see that. Yeah, I'm Pisces. What you got? You for real? No. Yes. I mean, she probably <laughs> has... It's a video. I can show you the video. Oh, yeah, let's do, do it. it. Let's do it after. Yeah, let's we can do, do that. Yeah, later. that's coming. <laughs> wow. Yeah, um, and we, I didn't write down astrology on the on the board. <laughs> sorry, it wasn't a thing. It was a nice little thing. But it was. But you definitely. I, I, no, I learned some you things. Should, yeah, now. what you should definitely take from this is you should go at least look up what you're about because it could give you some insights on something you've probably been questioning. That's like, all why am I this way? Sometimes you don't understand why you are the way that you are. And you've probably felt like, I don't know, you've probably been hard on yourself, but sometimes you really just need to know why you are the way that you are. Because me in relationships, I learned about that shit. And when I read my astrology on that, I realized, okay, that makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah. Like, it, may, it, you hell. it makes me feel, <laughs> no. That's what you found out? <laughs> no. <laughs> it just makes me feel more secure in, like, why I am the way that I am, yeah. even though I feel like I've been... Like, has I don't know. Some has people it been shown you things that you wish you could change? I feel like I have changed them. Like, as long as I know that they're bad, but sometimes I feel like my flaws can help me. Yeah. So, that's so I'll what keep I'm some of those flaws. Okay. As okay, long as I, I understand. I know you was into astrology. As long as I'm into everything on the earth, bro. I love learning. Like knowledge. dudes, too? I, I just had to say. I just <laughs> had to. I had to. I'm <laughs> done. I had to. <laughs> you said he de- set it up. <laughs> he set it up, Cam. <laughs> Cam, well, I'm Cam. Saying, yeah, we know where he set people, it up, bro. I couldn't help it. People's minds are. Nigga so. said like dudes too. <laughs> he said, he said, he literally said, I'm into everything. <laughs> Man, I see my nigga Cam going up for the fucking layup. He was like, I'm into everything. I had to, bro. No, you look so. I had to. I'm a Pisces, bro. What can I say? Mars, Jupiter, Neptune, bro. What you want me to do? It's the my son, son, son. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Look <laughs> it's up the, the reason I'm like that. I I'm can't. gonna look up the uh, Sagittarius and see what's about me now. No, you need. You probably gonna see make some sure crazy you read shit. everything. It's yeah. not that you gotta read your your sun sign only. You gotta read like your whole chart. You gotta read your Venus. What are all the signs? Because hold on, hold on, hold on. Ve- it's a sign signs? for every planet. Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. Not every planet. There's there's two. Okay, there's two zodiac signs for each planet. Okay. Only My up to except for Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Pluto. Yeah, so those go individually to one zodiac. Okay, but um, hmm. mm-hmm. what, who is now? Pluto? Who Pluto? That's not even a planet no more. So how did that work? What if they Who's exile Pluto? Scorpio? Who the what? What month is that? <laughs> October, uh, that's I think. October and November. I thought October. Or I said October. October. <laughs> October. <laughs> October. <laughs> hey, I, I heard October was. Leaving. I heard it was like a new sign though. It is. For uh, uh no a, a new sign like that just came out for like I'm not sure a if new that's month, bro. I'm not sure if that's true. How they gonna make a yeah. new sign without a new month? Nah, it was like for like a different because si- the signs aren't necessarily specifically like months. They're like days in between months. In between the months, like if you're born at the end of December, you're not a Sagittarius like me type shit. Yeah, you're you a might Capricorn. be a Capricorn. Yeah, yeah. So All right, so I'm going through some old text messages of the chick who did my my chart and like it's here, but we could talk about it later. What's your Venus sign? <laughs> <laughs> That's just funny to me, asking a nigga that Venus sign. <laughs> Yo, what's your Venus sign, bro? Oh, no. Get away from me. You have bad energy. Yeah, that, that's that's another thing I don't get. People be like, oh, you a, you a this. Oh, I can't fuck with you because you are that. Yeah, I see that a lot. That's crazy. Okay, so Compatibility so for what it has that on here, sense. though, it says my son. You can't be ignorant. Like, you can't be closed-minded like that. It says my son is Leo. My moon is Sagittarius. My Mercury is Leo. My Venus is Leo. And something is Gemini. I guess that's the next one. Uh, True Note. I don't know what that is. And Sharon is a Leo son. Ed Sharon, yep. Yeah, man. They just, I don't know. It's just something to, like, look into. So. Yeah, Take I, it probably, I probably have to do that at Ancestry.com one day. Yeah, I definitely really want to do find one of out those. who I is, you know? Yeah. It's good, too. I might be Mexican. I think I'm Mexican. I really do. <laughs> I, I found out that I uh, most of my chart <laughs> on Ancestry is Native American. Oh, so you from here? You got a chart. You got a chart in the stars. And it shows on you a pie on uh, Ancestry.com. You got to send like your cotton Spit. swabs in and shit. That's Spit. it. 
and it just be like you. How the fuck do they know? I don't know. They got technologies. Yeah. What, was, if they, what if they just dead ass lying to niggas? This That's the question. For too. money, they, you just they send probably the, they, they, just send them back some shit. Y'all see, y'all they send them a picture. They niggas, look at them. They be like, mm. y'all selling these niggas spit, and <laughs> they, they niggas, really, mm, they really taking y'all Native spit American. and making clones out of y'all niggas and telling y'all y'all Native American. That's what's going on. That might ancestry. be what's going on, but my thing is this: what they're doing with the clones? Why everybody so scared of them making clones? Because nobody want another them walking around this bitch. Would. Why would they be walking around though? Y'all think they they gonna just release the clone into the fucking world? <laughs> put that nigga to work. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I heard that. Mean, um, you know? I heard that like elite people, some of them are cloning themselves. Well, that's where the whole surrogate. That's been stuff a thing though. From, right? I think, huh? Surrogates, where like rich people, um, like some on some get out shit. Taking over oh, young man. black there's males' like a, bodies. There was like a whole movie about it. Get out with dude. like, uh, no, no, no. Sur- you talking about surrogate? Yeah, yeah. But I'm with like, Bruce Willis. Yeah, with Bruce Willis. Yep. Wasn't that about like? I thought that was about like people didn't live in their own world no more. They, no, people they got lived, in like they people body. lived in the world, but they had a fake body. They had a robot body. They just like uploaded to and yeah. like lived in that. And you couldn't die in that hoe or something? Yeah, or you, something like that. Yeah, I remember. That was a good movie. Mm, that's crazy shit. It was a good movie. Um, I didn't I didn't really pay attention to it. I think I was young. That's an old movie, right? No, nah, it's not that old. Somewhere in the, like, 2010s, I think. No! Yeah. Kiss my ass. <laughs> this nigga said no. <laughs> Kiss my ass. That shit old. Surrog- How you spell surrogate? It's, I think it's like S-U-R-R-O-G-A-T-E. Surrogates. Surrogates. Zero what gate? Okay, it didn't pop up. Surrogate movie with Bruce Willis. But yeah, let's. It was oh nine. It was oh nine. Oh okay. It Damn, was oh nine. I was close. Yeah, that was a what? A lot of years ago. All right, let's get it going, bro. Ti and Tiny. So as you can see, my um. <laughs> Ti and Tiny, they 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 moon and sun is all fucked up right hey, now. Let me tell you, Ti <laughs> I made a Ti I made a video uh, on Instagram. I saw that. I saw that. And so he was using the, using a bunch of big, big words. words and shit. You know him. <laughs> let's yeah. break down. Let's break it down. <laughs> Do you yeah. know what Ti what happened with Ti and Tiny? So boom, the same day that we're gonna talk about that later. The stocks went crazy and who died that day? Oh, speaking of R.I.P. to um Cece Tyson. Tyson. Yeah, Cece Tyson. And did Larry King die that day? Larry anyway, Larry maybe King. yeah, Larry King died too. You know, Larry King died. Yeah, his old ass. They did show him on Instagram somewhere, but I thought it was just a <laughs> 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 appreciation <laughs> post. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that nigga. Anyway, <laughs> what else happened? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the day Cece Ticey died. So I, everything Twitter was going crazy. <laughs> so I get on there, Ti t- uh, trending. I'm like, Ti done said some goofy shit about Sissy. I click on it, and it's much worse. Much worse. Much worse. Whoa. <laughs> some, I'm reading some. So I'm reading some shit about like t- apparently t- what allegedly. Let me not say apparently. Allegedly, Ti and Tiny was running like a fucking R. Kelly situation. Sex trafficking is, 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 is just the term pulling in bitches, use. recruiting young bitches to come fuck on them and leave them and drug them out and shit like that. So I wouldn't be surprised. I know Black China had a little thing with them. Do you know that? Yeah. You said Rob Kardashian. Kardashian. Yeah, yeah, like she she, I was in the Rob shit. Rob Kardashian yeah, like, exposed I made her. It out. Remember when? Uh, no. Remember when they were divorcing and shit? For having a sex? What she do? With Ti? He put it out there. He was like, you know, you used to um, have threesomes with Ti and Tiny and blah blah blah. Ti was trying to defend Black China. I think I do remember. And then shit like that, Rob yeah. like snapped back to Ti and was all like, "Whatever, you're just saying that because." Uh, she used to have threesomes with you or something That's like that. That's a terrible that. defense. You just saying that because you fucked my bitch, bro. That's the only reason you saying that. Like, why would you say that? <laughs> yeah, everybody. Yeah. Rob went out sad, bro. Yeah, he did. We ain't heard from <laughs> that nigga since. Yeah, he was on some crybaby shit. But yeah, <laughs> Tiny and T.I. Whoopty Whoopty. Okay. I don't know if it's true or not. I read like three or four of them shits. Some of them hoes sound stupid. Because honestly, I don't want to. Was it young bitches? I don't know. Some of them said they was young bitches. Some of them said they was of age. Yeah. But the, some of the stories I read was a little funny to me because I'm like, okay, they said I went to Ti and Tiny's room after a concert. So boom, why? <laughs> right there, let's you can say, yeah, let's answer. start right. I'm already questioning you. Why the fuck are you in Ti and Tiny's room after the concert? You know what they trying to do? Yeah. Boom, she said they lock up everybody phones. Why? Yeah, that's what celebrities do. Boom, though. she said they hand out Molly and Coke. 
Now she and all of this, she ain't never said I didn't participate in none of this shit. She going along for all of it, and then she say later on down the line, we all end up fucked up. They fuck us. That some girl almost passed out. T.I. say he don't give a fuck. I'm like, it seemed like that was headed that way the whole time, and you just was didn't like, know. Okay. Or like, why the fuck else would he take you in here after the concert, lock up your phone, and feed you drugs? It's gonna be a fuck Usually fest in here. Usually, celebrities lock up your phone. What you laughing at, Cam? <laughs> Nigga said it's gonna be a fuck fest. Here. It is. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you stupid. Uh, I, okay, why would Ti and Tiny invite a bunch of young women to their hotel anyway? Nah, Period. No, nah, no, man. No guys. There's a married couple. Yeah, no guys. It's a married oh. couple. Why they inviting a bunch of young women over and then they lock up their phones, feed them Molly and Coke? What do you think is they setting up, bro? That's all I'm saying. I, no, I like, don't know. Wh- you I think they finna just party, bro? Come on, I wouldn't be there. I think some girls. Damn so. I think some girls get caught up into that. You think this this nigga who's married is just gonna? Sometimes you're with your girls. You're one of your new friends. I don't know. Maybe one of your new friends uh, knows about something, and you didn't know that they were into it, and you just happen they get caught to be up in with the hype. Oh, it's Ti and Tiny. What? Some girl. You I've been in. Get a, your ass out that hype. Listen, <laughs> I've been in a situation where this girl was completely dumbfounded over this guy. He was 38, and she was like 22, 21. That's See, even that's what that's we even talking about earlier. What we were saying with, earlier, with you that think that's okay? <laughs> it was not okay because the whole time she was like trying to dangle us around. First of all, she's <laughs> rubbing all like she's rubbing on our titties and stuff while he's there. When he comes, when he came, she switched up her personality. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Pause. I'm maybe I didn't know what type of story you was telling. <laughs> Look, what happened? Bro? All, all I'm saying is. I, you was getting dangled around? So That's I a funny came, word, by I the way. knew of this girl, me and my friend who are close. Okay. We we have her as a mutual friend, but she mm-hmm. was invited initially. We all got together and yep. said, yeah, let's go to Lafayette. Why not? Okay. So um, we hung out, and her guy was 38 years old. Uh-huh. I knew about that. Okay. But um, I thought that that was really just her nigga, uh-huh. like just her nigga. I didn't know that he – it felt more like a recruiting situation mm. where he was – I when he met me, he was eyeballing me and looking me up and down like he could just have me. And I, I didn't – it oh, just made nah, me feel objectified automatically. I already know what type of nigga you are. I already know. Yeah. So I looked at him and I was like, mm-mm. He <laughs> 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 read his mind. Like, no, no, not this type of party. No, <laughs> not me, her. <laughs> <laughs> and I said that. Nope, she's right there. <laughs> yeah, look over me. here, look over there. <laughs> yeah, but she was um, rubbing on my friend's titties while he was there, and she was trying to do that with me, and then I just kind of was like, <laughs> so I just like walked. Did titties come out? No. Wow, she, was no just, she was just trying to act like a lesbian in front, in front of him. Just randomly. Yeah, just trying to act like a you party still fuck girl. With this girl. No. Okay. That sounds She was crazy. just trying to act like a party girl around him. And um <laughs> fast forward, he we were at some function. He thought that he could put his hand and rub it down my head mm. like this. Mm-hmm. And then I just did this shit to him. And then he was like, he laughed and he was like, What I'm not supposed to touch you or something? I said, I don't know you. So like you don't have that permission. He was like, Oh, I gotta get your permission. And I said, I don't have to explain myself. So. Sound like it made you uncomfortable. It did. Because you, you sounded like you got uncomfortable talking about it. Was. It, like it you, was. You uncomfortable. I can hear you, bre- yeah, I can yeah, hear you breathing yeah. and shit. Like it was you sounded uncomfortable. Like it was red and shit. He did piss me off. And I did cuss him out in the middle of the street later that night because Damn. he, um, I was trying to get off the truck. And then he put his arm, he put his hand on my butt to act like he was helping me. Man, you just helping you with this truck. Yeah, all of that. All of that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't play stupid with me. I was thinking of that boost. Not helping you in the truck, man. First of all, you grabbing my whole ass. Oh, he was squeezing? He oh, was yeah. just holding it. Niggas like, he like was, yeah, I got you, baby. He probably got an like initial group in there. You could have let out <laughs> your hand to for me to grab it, something. That's no. what niggas usually do. No, he grab ass, ass. and lift up. Ass. That's the most leverage yep. point, though. Oh, yeah. Think about Let's, it. Uh, well, think about it like this. If you grab somebody, you can pick them up, do what you want with them. So I'm maybe not, he was trying I'm to. I'm not a baby. Okay. Yeah, you're I'm right. not a baby. <laughs> I'm just trying to help. No, I shouldn't help. help that nigga. I shouldn't help him. That sounds like I know a you sick tried, nigga. but sounds like a sick nigga. Let me ask you something. You were in Lafayette at this nigga's house. No, we were at an Airbnb, and 
we, me and my friend were told by the girl that this was going to be, we were going to go to a LSU um, party, college party, something like it was going to be a, it was going to be an event, like a convention type of thing. I don't know. Kind of like homecoming. Mm-hmm. So that's what we went with. I was like, okay, that sounds fun. And you know, we're just coming out of, I'm just coming out of college. <laughs> Still in nah, college. I know her. You Do you? Kev, mark an X on that. <laughs> I know all your friends. Don't I? No, not all of them. I feel like you barely met. You said her name again. Why you said her name? Yeah. You said Damn. it for real this time. She yeah, you said, said it twice. Yeah, well, like, I love her. I think I definitely cool. know her. Or maybe you just talk about her a lot. Maybe I don't. I know one of your friends. Whew, I hated her. What's her name again? Bad walking ass. <laughs> you see? <laughs> that bitch get to walking, Kev. <laughs> You all just get mad as soon as she start walking. (laughs) No bullshit. As soon as you just see her big foot ass walking, you already mad. Don't get something to her ass, bro. Damn. I ain't going to say that. She annoyed you that bad? Yo, she annoyed me. And one time you knew she annoyed me. I didn't know she was doing all of that. Yes, she did. Let me tell you how I know, Cam. (laughs) Because one time I go to Kelsey house. This back in the day. I go to Kelsey. They eating turkey tacos or some shit, bro. (laughs) I I walk in that hole. I'm just talking. I'm just in that hole, bro. Kelsey and Raven go to the back room because, oh, girl, talking too goddamn much. And they peeped what? it, and they go to the room and chill. And my black thought. ass is stuck on the couch, acting that like is- I care about her nigga problems. And she was like, to him, you know? <laughs> and he's telling me, you know? And I'm just like, I don't know if I feel that, because it's just in my heart. And I'm just like, mm-hmm. Oh, man. And in my head, I'm like, that's a whole ass nigga for leaving me out here with this girl, bro. This shit is terrible, like bro. That. Yeah, that was bad. I yeah. thought y'all were comfortable. She was comfortable. Very comfortable. <laughs> I wasn't too comfortable. I was tell like, this, story, you the whole life this story. story sucks. First of all, the story, it be Cam. Some, I'm, I don't mind listening to you if it's interesting. Yeah. The story sucked, bro. She like, oh, yeah, I got a dude who kind of don't like me that much, but I kind of make us talk and shit, but I don't know if I'm forcing it. But in my head, I'm like, yeah, yeah you probably forcing it. <laughs> <laughs> if he don't like you that much, you just said it. Yeah, you, I mean, yeah. Like, well, I'm, this story sucks. Not, I, know, st- I see the end of the story. <laughs> like, did you get an abortion or something? Like, spice it up. What happened? Like, <laughs> no pregnancy scare? Nothing? Nothing? Did Not a damn thing. You? STD? <laughs> nothing? <laughs> nothing happened? He punched you? No? Nah, man. Stop talking. No punchline. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. Um, but she was annoying, though. That's But Tiny and T.I., I don't know if I believe it. I don't. I don't know what else to say because T.I. said it's all lies and Tiny said it's all lies. So, shit, I guess it's just yeah, they wait, word versus. wait and see, man. Yeah, so I don't know what else to say. It'll come out. But, Kelsey, I wouldn't go back to no no 40-year-old nigga house in, in Lafayette. Them that was the creepy, Airbnb. And Them yeah. niggas are creepy, bro. Sound like that she one She said story. it was going to be people that was our that was going to be our age there. Should have fought that hoe. I almost did. And I almost threw her speaker at her because she was playing too much. Oh, you. Yeah, she, you she, serious. so listen, mm-hmm. she kept on turning on. How big, how long, let me pause you, how big was the speaker? Like, oh, like it was a beast pill. Beast pill thing. I thought you, I don't know, it was long. I thought long. you picked up the, <laughs> 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 I hate y'all. <laughs> thought she picked up the thing, bro. Picked up the fucking So basically sub-woofer. that night she wanted us to all have a foursome with this guy. And um, that's, that's a, what that's I started picking up. I started picking that shit up, and it wasn't even that type of vibe, like, at all. She was the only person thinking that shit. And um, what a party. we decided to go to sleep, finally. Nigga and thought he was in there. He was excited. <laughs> no, I think she was more excited than him. I think he was chilling out because he understood that I didn't like his ass. So. And it was another one of y'all, too. Yeah, my other friend. How was she, how was she feeling? So she was just kind of like, okay, yeah, this girl is being annoying. She's, like, more of passive one so she was just trying to like make everything good in her mind when it really was not so so what i'm asking you is was she gonna bust it open if you decided to i think so okay so you if it wasn't for you it would have been it went down but she knew that the situation was really like okay this all was wrong like first of all we got lied to we were told that uh this was gonna be an event with a lot of people our age. And it was two of you We y'all. was around only grown ass men with white hair on their beards and white hair oh, on yeah, their that head. Was some they shit. Were Did they like, have some money? You should have no, won out there. I or don't something. think so. They didn't look like it, so no. Man, oh no, y'all that sucks, bro. Shit, y'all terrible, was. terrible, terrible day. It was like a lot so of situations. We I hate old niggas. We could have ran away from her ass, but at least we weren't around the the guy for a long time. We were just mainly with each other most of the time. Should have just had to force some fucking story to tell. Um, yeah, I don't believe T.I. and Tony did this shit. Um, yo, are y'all, you got the app Robin Hood? 
No. Are you invested in the stock market? Trading. I don't know the difference. You? Me neither. Day trading. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, I'm sure Cam knows. It's day trading, <laughs> and then it's like really being invested in that kind of stuff. Cam, Cam, don't act like you know. I know you Man, don't know. I'm brother be doing this shit. So what is it? It is. Day trading, and then it's like actual real live. So what's the difference? Day trading is just you putting like four or five hundred dollars in like a, you buy. And then it. what's real live? You put thousands and hundreds of thousands and thousands. So it just depends on how much money you get mm-hmm. at the end of the day, or how much you invest. See yeah. what I br- what I heard was it was institutional investments, and it's like because plenty of people have like, like, I don't want to miss miss say shit, but people have like pensions and shit invested into the stock market. I don't shit. know that word either. It's <laughs> like a four hundred one k or some shit you would have. I also don't know that word. Okay, <laughs> like the money you make continuously from your job. I know over that. time. I know that. You know what I'm saying? If people have that type of shit invested into the stock market. I never I, I ain't gonna lie, I knew I knew four hundred one K was like a retirement plan and all that shit, but I never knew yeah. exactly what that means. So that's Do why you I say four hundred and one thousand dollars? No. I think I don't know why they call it the four hundred one K. I forget oh. why they call it okay, that. Okay, don't worry about it. But do you know? I've heard of it a lot. I know it <laughs> has no, something to do with your sure. job, um, getting it's retirement. It's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the money you get. So if you have a job, like yeah. a, a real job. You pay towards your retirement the whole time, don't you? Basically, it's the money you save up from every check. Like you can have a certain amount of money from a check going into your 401k. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, and by if you time work, you retire, so by the time you retire, you, you yeah. have some money. Yeah, so but three people have like portions of that invested into the stock market. And do, let me ask you something, though. Can Do you... That switch jobs and say you get four or five different jobs. All them checks go into your four hundred one k. Well, it it well yeah. You can you can when you leave the job, they can either give you a check for your four hundred one k or you can have it roll over to your next job. Yeah, why you know so much about four hundred one ks and shit? That's it's you always trip me about the shit you do <laughs> know versus the shit you don't know. <laughs> like nigga, like no, I never heard a silhouette. What's that a shadow? I thought that was red. No, he said what's that red? Silhouette. <laughs> 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 nigga say silhouette. I thought that was red. <laughs> nigga is crazy. Hey, look, okay, stocks. The stock market went fucking crazy, bro. Um, I don't even really know how to get into it. It's so much going on. All I know is there's GameStop and um, AMC. The reason they went so crazy is because GameStop is like something that nobody would ever invest in. So all these hedge fund people was basically betting against GameStop. Yeah. They was betting that they shit drop. What people don't know is that you can make money in the stock market by shit dropping. You don't always... People assume you make money, it goes up, you pull it out, that's how you make yeah. your money. But you can bet on shit dropping, and then when it drops, you make your money off that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, boom, these hedge fund people be putting money on shit that they know going to drop, like GameStop. They see everybody, ain't nobody going to GameStop. And if you are, when do you go? Once <laughs> every six weeks to get a new game? You buy the shit online. Yeah. <clears throat> or you go to Walmart or some shit. Like, it's, <laughs> they got competition. Am- it ain't Amazon. even only GameStop. Yeah. So, boom. They, it's a depreciating whatever. So niggas on Reddit is just like, you know, fuck these rich ass people. Why they always get to control the market? So they got, it's millions of people on this Reddit forum. And they put all their money in together and they shot up. They all put their money in the GameStop and, the, and the shit shot up, right? Yeah. And they all put their money out. But what happened was all the niggas who bet that it was going to go down lost billions and billions of dollars. And they was pissed a, a lot about of rich that people. shit. Rich people was yeah. not happy. And they cut. That sh- they stopped <laughs> letting you buy and sell GameStop for like half a fucking day, Cam, yeah. until that shit got back right. So even if you bought it and your shit was up five, six hundred percent, you couldn't even sell that shit for half a fucking day. <laughs> and then half, by the time half the day goes, no, you could the sell. Shit back you dropped. just couldn't buy. Oh, you could still sell. Yeah, you could still sell. I s- but I heard some people couldn't sell that shit, Kev. Uh, well, when I was looking at mine, I couldn't buy. Cause I, I could, could still, s- I could still sell um some of the shit that I could sell, but. Yeah. I seen some people saying they couldn't do nothing. Yeah, I heard oh, app was, was crashing. People, people app people, wasn't working. People was coming up like a motherfucker off this shit. Yo, I came. I ain't gonna look. I came up off something called Dodge. I don't know if it's Doggy Coin or Dodge Coin, but I put five dollars in there last year. Yeah. Yesterday or two days ago, three days ago, that five dollars was worth one hundred and twenty-five dollars, bro. Because when I bought it, it was like not even one cent a share, and yesterday it was almost like seven cents a share. Yeah. So it's like. That shit just quadruple. It went up like a hundred, one thousand percent, bro. I pulled that shit out immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, what? Five dollars? I made one twenty five out five dollars, bro. That shit was crazy. No bullshit. But you can do. But imagine that to a bigger scale. Imagine I put fifty thousand dollars in there last year. You make that I could have made uh, millions at of least dollars. Hundreds of thousands. Yeah, I just put a hundred into it, so we'll see. Well, yeah, into doggy. 
Yeah. It's still dropping, Kev. You should have waited a little bit. Well, I have to wait mm-hmm. till market opens up on Monday to uh, do anything because they closed cryptocurrency down for purchasing. You can only sell what you have right now. See, that don't make sense because I, the way it was explained to me, cryptocurrency don't close. They ain't no, it don't close the crypto market. You should, I was explained that you can buy and sell that shit 24-7. Yeah, that's what I heard too. Maybe, yeah. That's, well, also, that I, I thought stupid. cryptocurrency didn't have nothing to do with the stock market though. It's, it's like a whole different thing. Oh, yeah. Uh, Doggy coin going back up actually since yesterday. Well, yeah, my little brother came home on this shit tough. He like, bro, 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 bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yo, yo, I thought I was tripping because I was on Twitter. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, doggy coin. And I had just checked my shit. My five dollars was worth. He said, invest in, invest in uh, AMC. Just know though, I have three thousand shares in that shit. So if it hits four hundred dollars, I'm pulling that bitch out because that's a million. <laughs> so, but you got a long way to go, kids. Yeah, you gonna have yeah. to just sit on that, bro. Yeah, we're gonna have to sit on it. Cause I like, mean, that's all the stocks is though. You got five thousand shares, so you got three thousand. Um, three thousand shares. Cause you know, you you got shares. Cause like, I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I, I paint, nigga. <laughs> fuck you talking about, nigga? You don't paint you stocks. <laughs> I can't. Let's just move on then, cause I see she over there and cleans her nails, bro. Fuck, <laughs> fuck the stock market. That shit boring anyway. <laughs> All right, let's let's get into this. Let's get into my favorite part of what I wanted to talk about today, and that was the busted and silhouette challenge. Now I ain't gonna lie, the busted challenge was cool. I'm like, oh, I like this little challenge. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Silhouette challenge change the game. Really can I really What's didn't see that. What's the silhouette challenge? You really don't know? <laughs> I really don't know. We were just talking about the word the whole time. I didn't. Oh know. my <laughs> god! You haven't seen so the like silhouette challenge? A bad chick or something will be dancing, right? She's getting you all enticed, and then boom, lights go off. A red background comes on, and she's just a silhouette of her body, and she like butt naked, but you can't see nothing. And it got you a really, just, really fantasize. And it got it, a really sensual music behind it with 808. Oh, band. that looks. That's oh, okay. That sounds fun. Yeah, you should do one, and then send it to <laughs> Cam or something. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> just post that shit. Yeah, just post it, but you know. <laughs> and then y'all can post it on y'all's little thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> yo. <laughs> I can't just fucking relax, okay? Just hold. Just everybody <laughs> relax. You are annoying. No, I'm not annoying. You did that. They, and everybody gonna look at me. Kev, even this Kev. <laughs> Don't look at me, nigga. Why everybody look at me? <laughs> nah, the busting in the silhouette challenge is crazy. You really never seen that. That's nuts. I love that challenge. It's like, are you girls, gonna do girls one? being there. No, hell no. Nah. Well, I Why should, not? though. I should put the hammer on the, t- on the timeline. No, because you was just talking about don't do that shit. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Oh. But, but I, I was requesting. You see, she asked. Oh, it's got to be per request. Ain't nobody asked. So us. they made it better? Nobody <laughs> asked us walking for that shit last week. <laughs> <laughs> he just did it. Nobody said, yo, Sauce Walker, put your dick on the timeline. It wasn't even no silhouette challenge back then. <laughs> <laughs> he just did that shit. It wasn't even silhouette. He got perfect lighting. <laughs> Nigga just standing there in the mirror. <laughs> that shit was nuts, bro. But the busting silhouette challenges, basically, but what I noticed is these challenges are getting closer and closer to, because the silhouette challenges turn from, you know, r- a real silhouette to, like, and then I start noticing girls trying to, like, show their nipples, like, they trying to, like, oh, make peaking? sure their nipples are showing, and then it ca- and then girls start, like, putting anal plugs in that got lights in them, and then bending over, and their booty is sparkling. Oh, and I ain't then, even seen that. Oh, that. yeah, it got serious, bro. <laughs> yeah, he's deep. Oh, oh that did, y'all didn't hit y'all timeline? Y'all didn't click the challenge? Y'all didn't nah, click the nah. hashtag and scroll through nah, for hours? I didn't even. I didn't, nah, I didn't, nah. I didn't, oh, I. That nigga's I going deep down I the rabbit hole. I'm on my own wave, man. I'm on my own wave. Niggas went deep down the rabbit hole. With y'all, that don't, one. y'all didn't check out the silhouette challenge? I, I see it when it pop up on my timeline. I, you don't click the hashtag? No. Nah. <laughs> Yo, but <laughs> you're sick, man. Ooh. <laughs> Who cam right? What's wrong with him? Uh, but okay, I guess I'm the only one who. <laughs> all I'm gonna say is this: the silhouette challenge landed me on Tasty Blacks at least twice. Yo, let's talk <laughs> about combat sports. Let's talk about combat sports. Um, the reason I want to talk about combat sports is, and I just I don't even want to talk about it. I just wanted to say this, bro. You know how crazy you gotta be to, to go in there, get your ass whooped, and leave, and then come back and do it again. They're not thinking they're gonna get their ass whooped though. But you do. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's say you, you just know. got Someone's your ass whooped. Win or lose. You just got your yeah. ass whooped, right? So now you're supposed to go home and schedule another fight in front of all these people. 
I mean, that shit is just yeah. mind blowing to me. Like, what is? And then you, you have get, to get your oh. You don't have to get your ass. Okay. Oh, you, you don't. Just win. Saying you just do. You yeah, so everybody get their ass whooped. And I seen one nigga whole lip was Are fucked up. Are you saying this because Conor McGregor got knocked out? Or? Nah, fuck him. Oh. Fuck that nigga. I'm just, I was watching um, fighting highlights, and I was just like, yo, these niggas are fucking warriors, bro. They be getting knocked the, f- knocked the I'm fuck out. I'm watching uh, John Jones highlights, and every fight, <laughs> this nigga's in a blender with somebody. I'm talking about they punching his ass, he punching them, and then five seconds later, he in another fight with somebody else. I'm like, why the fuck do you keep getting back in the ring, they bro? They love that shit, though. That shit is crazy to me. Your face is gushing, nigga. Your shit is all fucked up. Lip mm. this big. And you just going to schedule it, it again. They Let's do it again. Shit, though. It's, a, it's a mentality that they have. Because people will look at us and say, why the fuck would you go out there and play football like nah, that? No, football ain't near as Cam. I, <laughs> you never play football and leave the game looking like how them fighters no, look, right. bro. You're definitely right about that. <laughs> like, them fighters be looking crazy, and they, they sign up for that fucked shit up. again. I remember mean, what's called? Broke his leg in the, in the octagon. Anderson Silva. Yeah. Wow. like Broke his shit in half. Because let me ask you something. What, who are your favorite comedians? My favorite? Uh, mm, good question. Cam, that's a question. First date question. Like, See how hard it was? Oh, I like Dave Chappelle. <laughs> okay. Off rip. That's your first? Yeah, that's just my first. No, my first? Oh, so you're know. not really sensitive. Mm-hmm. I feel like people who don't like Dave Chappelle are super sensitive. Yeah, you really got to understand his art. I think that nigga's hilarious, bro. I think so. You have to understand Same. it. Like, he's just telling I think he top what four. it is. Top four. And the only reason is because I just can't put him over Eddie Murphy. I can't put – and me personally, I love Chris Tucker, bro. That nigga was so funny to me when I was young. I never, and Cat Williams. I never listened to his stand-up. Not, stand-up. not even stand-up, just comedian, period. Cat Williams is, is the goat to me. Yo, Rush Hour, Friday, Money Talks, these movies was so fucking Rush funny Hour, to me. I mean, uh, Chris, Chris Tucker probably the funniest nigga in movies. Like. That's what I'm saying. These, that nigga was so funny to me, I got to yeah. put him top three. And then <laughs> four, I'll put Dave four because – Dave stand up is nuts. It's Can ridiculous. I tell y'all my favorite actor? Denzel. No. Me. No. Cam. Michael B. Jordan. No. Why oh, you say him, Kev? <laughs> I don't know. You know why shit. he said him? Because I went. <laughs> no, not like. Cam <laughs> is into everything. Mm-hmm. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Every woman thinks she like him, but no, it's Jim Carrey. Okay, oh, that's really? weird. That's a funny guy. Yeah, that is weird. It, what's the last so, name? Do he do still do SNL? What does he do now? I don't know. He I doesn't. He, he never did SNL. Like to ne- be on there. Like maybe to I'm be thinking of in Living character. Color. Yeah. yeah, that was in Living Color. Yeah, that must be what I'm thinking of. He never like did Jim- SNL. Dead ass. No. I mean, you he lie. might he might have been on there as a guest. I don't know, but he was never like with that company. Oh, okay, I got you. I yeah. Got you. What does he do? What's that? What's his last movie? I think it was a serious ass forensic science movie. No, I never wasn't watched it Sonic. It. Didn't he just come out with Sonic? He oh, was Dr. he was Eggman. Dr. Eggman. Oh shit! Oh, I knew you would know Sonic. I, oh. No, I've never. I haven't seen, seen Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> I have. I have not seen Boy, Sonic. No, that shit look. The first Sonic look ass, Trash. and then they switched it. Cause um, he makes everything better, like the Grinch. So that's not. He's a comedian though. Yeah. So is he your favorite? That's comedian? why I mentioned him. Like is I he guess I'll comedian? put him. Person. I like his movies. So and top shit. five comedians, go ahead. I don't have five comedians. <laughs> well, if there are five comedians, so fucking. <laughs> I follow this. I follow this one guy named uh, Jeff Kelly or something like that. Jeff he top. He top five. Jeff Shelley. Jeff Shelley. That's his name. You know. Yeah. No, that's he's that's not my top. Seven doses of six or seven. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga. <laughs> How long you been selling doses? Oh six, oh seven. Yeah. Been selling doses. Oh six, oh seven. <laughs> what kind of gun you got? Oh Mac eleven. Riding around Just with this Mac, Mac eleven. 11. <laughs> I never seen that shit. That's that's him. That's okay, he, he was I talking need about, to see that one then. He was talking about how shit niggas, funny how than niggas, be, bitch, be, bro. how rap niggas be telling another nigga story. That should be and funny. And he was like, how long well, you been it's that nigga then. Yeah. But, but he, I think, honestly, think rap niggas should tell other niggas stories because when they you do start anyway. telling your own stories is when you end up in jail, nigga. But nah. But I think my top five comedians would probably be Cat, in no order. Cat, uh, Bernie Mac, motherfucking. <laughs> oh, um, Bernie might be five on my list. Cause I uh, Dave four. Chappelle. Um, who else? Who else? Who would you have again? Bernie Mac, Eddie Murphy, Dave Chappelle? I didn't say Eddie Murphy yet, but Oh, you didn't Kat, say Eddie Murphy. Cat, <laughs> Bernie Mac, uh Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. I said I did say somebody else before him. I thought you said Eddie Murphy. Maybe I'm sure. Uh, Eddie Murphy. Nah. Richard Pryor? Nah, we was nah. too young. We don't know that. I, I only seen <laughs> a, I only seen a few of Richard Pryor stand ups. 
It's some, it's some other underground funny niggas that I like, like uh, that's what Bruce I'm saying. Bruce and them niggas. Some, yeah, them, them, them I type saw of him last weekend. Yeah, he not even fat. He's huge. Bruce Bruce? Bruce? No, that nigga still He's fat. He's huge. He, got <laughs> he was skinny the last he, time I he seen him. He like this. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Bruce Bruce had got little, but he must have blew back up. Yeah, he, he was in, what movie was he in? I don't know, whatever. He was in a lot of songs, a lot of ATL music yeah, videos was, and yeah. stuff. Um, So you don't have a top five, Cam? Uh, I said, let's say Cat, Bernie Cat Mac. Um, what's that nigga name? I, I can't remember Bernie's name who made the, you ever seen the dude who was talking about his retarded brother? And he was about to get his ass whooped and when his mama come home. Or whatever. I think I did see and that. He was like, <laughs> tell me he gonna call him, he gonna call Eliza on his mama and shit. <laughs> I think I know what you're talking <laughs> about. Like, that nigga funny. I can't remember his name, but that nigga funny, no bitch, bro. But that's probably, I guess that's four. Okay. I guess Eddie Murphy would be five. All right, I'll take it, bro. I have this other, fr- he's this one friend. He's a comedian. His name is Jay Cannon. He's pretty funny too. Is he hilarious? But my favorite he's internet really comedian. Tell him to come on the pod. I need to see more of his stand up though. My favorite oh, internet well, comedian. He's really funny be, as a person. Uh, RDC and Drewski. It'd be the two funniest niggas on the Drewski funny a bit. I li- I used to like Desi over Drewski, but he kinda of fell out air since he did that black shit. Yeah. He really ain't been funny yeah, since. Yeah, he really ain't really been funny since then. Um, last thing. Um old girl who read the cards, bro. Can you get us in contact with her? Mm-hmm. So we can get on Just the Just look up uh modern day goddess. Is she like humble? Is she nice? Yeah. Cause you know people be Hollywood, bro. Nah, she. Modern day goddess. Yeah, modern day goddess. Tell it, tell tell her you sent us. Okay. You know what I'm saying we're gonna do that. Right. Um, until then, um, Sim Cam, you're still a wet challenge. Um, ASAP. <laughs> um, by tonight. I ain't gonna send it to you. Sim <laughs> <laughs> Cam said, "Why me? <laughs> He's gonna keep I it." Gotta no, I'm playing. Uh, <laughs> let's I gotta get up out of here. Uh, I got nothing. I got nothing. Any last words, Cam? Shit. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, you haven't been saying that. Y'all yeah. niggas suck. Because yeah, you got any last words? So. Mm. Anything you want to promote? Buy some RX Calor. Go online. Shop at my site, Kelsey Calor, and um, get you a beanie, get you a shirt. They're, they're there. Go get one. They're there. <laughs> they're there now. All right, let's get up out of here, bro. Yeah. <laughs>